Hey, Michael, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I was looking to, to interview you. I'm so happy that uh, we have Wheel Lab Bank in the summit. But before we dive into you and the product, uh, of course, we Lab in the product, maybe you should start by telling us who you are and what did you do before so we get a little bit of a background. Sure. Um, so, uh, so it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm the product lead for we Lab Bank. Um, so I've been so I'm one of the founding members of the um, of the virtual of the virtual bank here. Um, I've been so I've been with, with the company a lot with this group pretty much since we've started. Um, prior to this, uh, I've spent about 10, uh, 10 plus years in foreign, foreign exchange, um, both as a um, as an OTC trader and building out um, electronic trading businesses across a variety of regional and institutional platforms um, in Asia. Um, so. Like spent a lot of time um, working in um, in the the digital platform space, um, and you know again, really happy to be here to talk to you today. Amazing! So, a lot of people are so uh, curious about WeLab because uh, it seems like you guys are driving innovation, and everything you do is amazing. I, I've been talking to, for example, the guys from uh, Invest Hong Kong. They were mentioning you more than than others. All, all the players are mentioning you. And um, tell us a little bit, what, what is WeLab exactly? So for the people who don't know here. So, sure, so WeLab, so WeLab Group is a leading FinTech company um, in Asia. WeLab Bank is, a, um, is Hong Kong's homegrown virtual bank and we're, uh, we're a wholly of subsidiary of, uh, of, the, of the group. Um, so we're, like, we're licensed by, by the HTMA, who's, like, who's a, a, a local regulatory body, um, founded by a team of both financial and tech, um, technology experts. I mean, our mission is to understand customer needs and build a personalized full service digital banking experience that helps people, like all our customers manage, save and grow their money. Um, so as a virtual bank, everything that we do like starts from a pure, from a pure digital perspective. Um, so we're all about being able to create very simple, intuitive and enjoyable uh, user experiences around our customers. Amazing, so uh, what are the, the main feature, the, the, the feature that makes uh, the stickiness here in, in what you do, like the users. Right, so, uh, so a little bit like our, um, our secret sauce. Well, I think one, th I think, um, I think one thing we've, um, we've realized is that um, banking, as a, banking as a service or an activity is actually, is a, it's very commoditized, but particularly in Hong Kong where, um, where on average, I mean, particularly with our target audience, most of them, have two plus bank accounts each, um, three like three to four uh, credit cards each. So it's certainly not that um, that people are short for choice. But what I think people are lacking, um, and what, and one thing that we hear constantly from our customers is like the bank, like the the, the products and services right now are like they're not necessarily designed for them, um, and there's there's not a lot of fun, there's not a lot of joy in them. Um, so I think like one like one like one um. One part of this entire uh, managed save grow proposition that either way focus on um, at this point is save and saving money by like by definition like time deposits savings accounts are not the things that really get you fired up and excited right but they are a critical part of being of allowing customers to be able to establish their financial well-being and their financial independence so one thing that we've worked on um, is a um, is a very unique um, savings product called go save. So whereas most time deposits in like both in Hong Kong um, or globally are really focused on, um, on large deposit sizes or, um, or you typically get access to better rates if you can bring in larger amounts, new, like new, uh, new, deposit, like, uh, new funds or lock yourself up for, uh, for a significant period of time. We wanted to reinvent and uh, reimagine this really critical part of this really critical but kind of stayed part of the entire um, uh, Packet Park Suite. Um, so go, so go, 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 save, go save is a community driven, community powered savings product, meaning that rather than rewarding customers for bringing in large amounts of money, we want to reward customers for even making the commitment to go and save money. And we understand that saving is not something that's necessarily easy to do, right? So no matter how much money you have, whether it's 10 Hong Kong or you've got, or you've got much larger amounts to, to go, Firstly, we'll give everyone exactly the same rate. Secondly, the more people that want to save, the better the rates everybody gets, right? So it's very, so it's very, so it's very, so 
in it so in its own way it's it's both it's both um harnessing the power of the community but also putting a little bit of fun um into like into something that again has never really been that interesting but it's but it's a really important part of um of the, of the entire banking journey and and uh, specifically for us i mean goes it uh, goes like we like we've personified um or symbolize go save with a minibus now minibus is, is, a, is a very important part of yeah. culture in hong kong right so i mean um it's it symbolizes efficiency symbolizes effectiveness and it symbolizes flexibility minibuses you get on wherever you want you get off wherever you want and the same thing with our product so if you need money back that's fine you can take it back any point in time you want to take part of it back that's cool too um so we're all about um so we're all like we're, we're so all, I, all of this is very much built from the customer's need that comes to customer pain points. Um, and I'd say like that, this is probably like one, like one of our flagship products. Amazing. Uh, it's, it's good that you mentioned it. Uh, I have so many questions about the, the features and, and, and the product. Like uh, I will allow myself to rest a little bit and ask you about other stuff before we dive into that uh, in the short time that, that we have. Um, about the, the card, I'm seeing like all over in the fintechs that we have here, um, people are obsessed with the card still, the physical card. Uh, what can you tell us about your card? Can you show us your, your card, uh, your product? Because I heard things. You heard things? Well, I have the card behind me. Um, <laughs> that's, one of the, so that's one of the more decorative items. But the, the, I mean, as a, as a virtual bank or as a, as a complete digital bank, um, we're branchless. Clearly, and the card is is a really important tool for us because we don't have a lot of physical contact points with customers. So this is so this so this so this is a very it's a very important contact point for us to be able to um, to establish rapport with customers. But also, we recognize that there is a real need for people to be able to to spend their money, right? And as much as people like spending um, spending online, and this has definitely been a trend that we've seen pick up in the last couple of months during COVID. There is still a need to be able to go and transact and use your uh, use your money to buy things in brick and mortar shops. Um, so the so the, the so the so the, the the debit card is is clearly um, a a really important part of our proposition. So, I mean, as as it is again one of like one of very um, one of a few physical contact points with, with customers that we we think about it um, quite a lot from a um, a delight and a, um, and uh, uh, enjoyment by perspective. So every one of our, so our cards, maybe we've actually been able to blur out a little bit too much here. Our cards come out with a, with a, with a, um, with a very special packaging. So they come in. Wow. Wow. So yeah, I can see. This is a full story book about the story, about the story of the card. I'm hoping that the, yeah. the virtual background doesn't quite completely eat it, but one thing that we've like, we've specific, specifically done is that every single every single one of these these packages, oops, mm -hmm. maybe you can see. It's actually um, interesting single, because I heard that the card doesn't have digits. Yeah, so the like so the so the so the, the card employs um uh, Mastercard's uh uh, di uh digital digital card design. So it's a completely numberless design, um which is but which is both great from an aesthetic perspective because your card is a lot cleaner and we can do much more interesting things with it like the, like this um this 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 really cool um funky rainbow design that we have um but also there are real safe there are real tangible safety benefits of that so for instance if you do lose your card or if your or if you're or as you're using your card in um in restaurants and shops and, and whatnot you don't have to worry about your card credentials being compromised just because a card is actually out of sight. There are no like there are no card critical card credentials on the card itself except your name, right? So all of, so your your card number, your expiry date, your CVV, all of that is securely accessible in and only in your app, right? So there so the card so the, the, the so the card design is as much about function as it, as it is about form. And it still it still works if I want to do the cashless you know payment if I go to to a Starbucks and I want to pay with the card it still has the NFC chip. Absolutely, I mean, um, like per, I, pers I personally, since this card has come out, I basically kissed all my other cards goodbye. Um, so I can so I can personally testify that this card that this card works super well. Amazing! It's brilliant. Why do we need uh, any uh, digit? Yeah. It's, uh, it's brilliant. Um, what, what other uh, new features, I mean, uh, that you can share with us that recently got into uh, the app? 
Well, I think like the so the so the two features that we're talking about um, go um, go uh, go save as our as our flagship savings uh, savings product and um, and the the debit, the debit card are the um, are the core products that um, that, um, that we have at this point. Um, and we're constantly working on different ways to be able to expand those. Um, so by both by both building out additional functionality to the card um, and coming out with different iterations of Go Save. So um, so you may I've seen that we've actually launched um, different uh, different campaigns around Go Save. Um, Go Save because uh, Go Save because functionally it's 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 almost like a bus, All right? Um, and again, we like we symbolize it with like with with, with the mini bus. So every, so every bus can actually be a bit different, right? So if I do want, so we can run we can run really different campaigns, or we can or we we can offer different savings products in a super dynamic way. So I mean, on like on average, like we like we may like we may la we may launch five, ten, twenty buses a day, and every single one of them can have different characters about them. So if so, both from a marketing perspective and also from a like, from a demand perspective, we can suddenly start doing. Um, different currencies, different tenors, um, and these are and these are all different and these are all different things that we, that, we, that we've seen um, very strong response on. Amazing! And uh, how is the the adoption so far? I mean, uh, how long do you exist? Uh, remind me. Uh, so we launched at the we launched at, we launched publicly 30, uh, 30th of July. Um, we hit like we like we so we've uh, we've been uh, we've been hitting some uh, major milestones along the way like so. Um, ten, like, so ten days after launch, we had, like uh, we we onboarded our, our ten thousandth customer. Um, I think as of, as of now, we're got, we're in our second uh, second month of operation, um, and I can say that every single uh, every single day is a new challenge. It's uh, it's it's just an, an, inc an incredible journey to be able to get all that customer feedback that we have um, and know that the products that we have now they're not just being used. In our own test environments, with a select um, set of customers, the people that I'm on the train with, the people that I see downstairs in this in, in this in the, in the supermarket, like they could just as easily be using our card. And particularly because our card, our card, both in the packaging and the physical card, has a very distinctive design to it. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Sometimes when I like when I when I go when I when I go out, I, I, I'm using my card, um, and the cashier will say, "Oh, you have like oh you have one of those new digital bank cards. I know that. I want to get that. Like that. Like that's for, like that's." For, People recognize it, and, and and you see it out there. It's amazing. It's uh, you know, I know that there are several virtual banks uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, we discussed it also here in the summit. Uh, but you guys are the most interesting uh, for me, at least. I'm following. I'm a fintech geek. You know, I have all these uh, cards and bank accounts in neo banks all over the world, uh, and uh, and I'm very very interested in in your team. And I know you have some brilliant people, right, on, on the team. Um, so uh, I'm very curious to, to see how it develops and how it evolves uh, for, for, for the whole ecosystem in Hong Kong. Um, I wanted to ask you about community. How do you build a community exactly? Do you have a well, community, platform or? Yeah, so I mean, a community has been a very, a very core part of our, our philosophy. And I think I mean, everyone talks about community slightly differently. We see community both as a way to be able to engage with our existing customers, um, as well as engage with prospective customers. Now, I think like one thing, like one thing that we're that's where um, we're quite focused on here. It like like one of like one of the core principles for us is that like we're like we're building a bank to get we're building a bank for like for this community. Right? We're building a bank for like we're building a bank for people. But and as much as possible, we do want to actually build it together with people. And when we say we're building it together with people. Um, of course, the onus is on us as products, as technology, as risk to ensure that we have it, like we have a viable, robust, safe product for our customers to use. But in building it together, we want to build something based on what the community actually wants, right? So, um, so we've been so we've been running community events um, with with very passionate people like yourself, um, as well as well as well as. Um, Curious minds in Hong Kong who are interested in understanding, hey, what, what is possible in, in virtual banking? Or people who will say, hey, I use X Bank, Y Bank, Z Bank in Hong Kong, and I have them all. But there are things that they can actually do for me. What can you do for me? Um, and we um, we love uh, we love those conversations. Now, um, like that, that, that definitely, the last couple of months with COVID has made this kind of interaction a little bit more um, difficult in, in person, at least. Um, so. As a virtual bank, we very quickly like move it, move it, uh, move this online, and we and we're still actively hosting these community events 
with a like with a wide spectrum of audience in Hong Kong and um, and for me like for like for us as a product organization that's a, that's a really important space and opportunity for us to be able to hear what our customers want hear how they actually use our products um, and also just understand like what what does banking actually mean for them right so like really unpacking what it means when they say okay well I, I, I need to manage my money I need a budget like what are the actual steps how do they actually do it I think you have a very strong team. I've been talked to others on your team, of course, uh, Andy, and I know uh, Jessica and others, like really brilliant people, really good dream team. And uh, I can't wait to uh, have this interview again and talk about more features and more stuff that are on the pipeline that you're not exposing right now, but I know that that are, that are coming uh, in the product side. Um, thank you very much for uh, attending and being a part of a global summit like this. And um, how can people uh, learn more about you, about the product? Well, the best way to find out more about the product is to actually use the product. Um, so, um, so if and when you do come to Hong Kong um, and, you, and you become a Hong Kong and you, and you are an eligible Hong Kong resident, we'd love to have you on board. Um, come, vi like, come visit us on, uh, come visit our, um, our website where we, our we left our bank. Um, follow us on IG, follow us on Facebook. Um, and, you know, we'd love to be able to share more about what it is that we're doing. But more importantly, I, love, I would love to hear more about what you want, right? Because it's not, it's not like, I'm not, like, I'm not here to build, to build a product that I like. I'm here to build a product that you like. My success, is, is, my success comes from you guys using it. Amazing. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll catch up soon. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.